real estate industry has changed. There is a new and better way to buy a home, and it could save you possibly tens of thousands of dollars. Now, the real estate industry has been archaic in how it operates over the years. Eh, let's call it decades, actually. Don't get me wrong. The technology that we use has actually progressed by leaps and bounds. To put it in perspective, I've been using artificial intelligence for more than six years to help follow up with leads. The rest of the world just caught up as it has just become cool. It is the way that real estate is bought and sold that has languished with very few advancements and improvements. But that has all changed with some big developments forced on the industry by a class action lawsuit and the Department of Justice. Oh, real quick. Hey, it's Jeff Chubb. I'm a recovering investment banker turned real estate agent. I've sold more than a thousand houses. If you have any questions in regards to real estate, then know I'm here to help. So what has changed? It is how buyers choose to represent them and how they pay that agent. You would hear agents claim that working with them is for free. And while this was technically incorrect, it felt that way to buyers as the seller paid the fee. The fee that was offered to a buyer agent was actually pre-negotiated part of a seller's marketing plan. Not anymore. The Department of Justice is making it so that there can be no mention of a fee that's being offered to a buyer agent. So what does all that mambo jumbo really mean? It means that you are going to select your agent and agree how much to pay them. Then you're going to go out and look at some houses and when you find that house that you love, you're going to negotiate that fee at the time of that offer. It's just another variable of other things like offer price, closing date, home inspection contingency, right? Now the seller, they may come back willing to pay the entire buyer agent fee or part of that fee or even none of that fee. If it's part or none, then that means that the buyer needs to pay the rest of the fee. Now, there are ways to do that and build it into the pricing of the house with closing cost assistance, but that entire process is different. Now, it will become a lot more noticeable how much someone's paying an agent when buying a house because of this new process. So what's the new and better way to buy a house? We're going to talk about that next, but first, let's talk about the cost of the old and traditional way. Now, the fee that a buyer agent was paid was generally 25 to 3% of the selling price. So, that means if the selling price was $500,000, and that's up to $15,000 that was baked into the deal in order to compensate your buyer agent. Real estate agents, they're not cheap, which is kind of crazy because the talent level of so many agents are, well, let's just say questionable at best. The new way of buying a house is paying by the hour instead of paying the big percentage of the selling price at the time of closing. How does it all work? It is a process that pretty much identically matches an attorney. An agent will have an hourly rate. That rate, it's going to vary based on an agent's experience. So a new agent that sold free houses will charge less than an agent with 20 years of experience and having sold hundreds of thousands of houses. Just like when choosing an attorney, a buyer can choose their representation based on an agent's experience as well as their hourly rate. The hourly rate would be charged to buyers for showings, to write offers, or to schedule tours, or to negotiate offers and manage the transaction. Everything that is involved with the transaction would be charged by the hour instead of that transactional percentage fee. One of the best parts aside from the ability to save a small fortune in fees is that there is no contract that locks a buyer into using that service. If you aren't happy with your representation, then you are able to move forward with another option. However, an upfront retainer is owed, which is non-refundable. Now, this retainer is put towards the initial hourly charges. Like an attorney, the consultation fees are paid as you utilize them. You are billed monthly and only for the time that you use. So, if you're one of those buyers that do more of the legwork and you're one of those buyers who take it upon themselves to hit the open house circuit, then you would save a small fortune. Each agent does it differently, but I'm going to talk about a little how I do it as some examples of time charges. For showings, the time charge is obviously during the showing, as well as maxed out travel time of 15 minutes each way. Writing an offer takes about 30 minutes, while pricing research and the offer strategy conversation will take another approximately 30 minutes. Call about 15 minutes to put together that offer package and call the listing agent, do some smoozing. The amount that you pay is based on how much you actually use that agent. If you're one of those people who write offers for fun and like to be unrealistic and come in at 25% below on every offer, this type of program probably isn't for you. Another great thing about the program is that you are actually able to finance the amount that you pay when closing on the property. You are able to factor in a closing cross credit that would actually reimburse you for any money that you paid out during the buying process. 
any fees accrued after going under agreement will be paid at the time of closing. Now, the reason for this is that we don't want any charges to occur that increase the credit card balance or create any difficulties in the underwriting process with the bank. So why would an agent be willing to accept less for their services? The reason that an agent makes so much on each transaction is that so many of their services are done for free while having a low conversion rate. In other words, they may actively work with and show property spending hours upon hours of time and money to three buyers for every one closing they have. Agents aren't guaranteed an income. They have no salary. The industry has been set up to compensate an agent for this upfront risk by providing a large reward should a closing occur. They are able to charge less when charging hourly because they reduce the risk and thereby are able to reduce the reward. So how much can you save? The more expensive a house and the shorter the search timeline, then the more buyer saves. We estimate that on a million dollar house that home buyers are gonna save approximately 10 to $15,000 plus an agent working hourly for you is more aligned to your values. Think about it, an agent getting paid a percentage of a sales price is actually incentivized to get buyers to pay more for the house. It doesn't matter how much the house sells for when you have an agent working for you on an hourly basis. It's important to know that not all agents are willing to work with this type of model. It's new, and there are a lot of stubborn dinosaurs in the industry. Not to mention that many of these agents have gotten accustomed to these big, huge paychecks and have gotten greed to be their compass over what is actually doing best for their client. If you're here in Massachusetts, then I would love to help you. But if you're looking to buy a house anywhere else in the country, then reach out as I network with hundreds of other agents and most likely know someone who's working with this type of model in your market. So who is this program perfect for? This program is most likely not for a buyer who's putting a small percentage down. This program is not for the looking loop buyer who's just spinning the wheels. It's perfect for the serious buyer looking to make a move. It's great for an experienced buyer, whether that be a move up buyer or an experienced investor. Essentially, it's perfect for the serious buyer that has the ability to pay up front. Again, it's Jeff Chuck. If you're looking to buy a house and are interested in hearing more about this new and better way to buy a home, then I would love to chat with you. Whether you're looking to buy a house here in Massachusetts or anywhere else in the country, then I look forward to being a resource for you and pointing you in the right direction. Now you can find all my contact information in the description below right down there, or you can visit us at youtuberealestateagent.com. Until next time.